Next up, um, person talking about their psychology PhD. Do children with autism have an inner voice? So uh, please make welcome Penny Talk. Hi, I'll start with the. Sorry, can you hear me? Yep. I'll start with a very important question that I need you to be honest with. Now, how many of you talk to yourselves? Right? It is okay for you to admit to that because we all do it, and it is only when you start having conversations with yourself out loud and in public that we start to worry about you. <laughs> now, this inner silent self-talk that goes on in our heads can be in the simple form of the repetition of mathematical formulas down to full-blown inner debates as to whether our limited money supply would be better spent on food or alcohol. We spend up to 80%, 80% of our waking moment is spent engaging in our inner, inner chatterbox. Why do we spend so much time talking to ourselves in our own heads? Now, research has found that the, this use of inner voice brings to us a whole range of benefits, of which I am studying three of them. Inner voice brings us benefits in the use of development of memory, in, de in decision making, and very interestingly, the inner voice actually helps us create more positive social interactions. The reason why I've chosen these three areas is because they have been found to have significant implications for those with autism. Autism is a pervasive lifelong developmental disability characterized by a triad of impairments in social interaction, communication, and rigidity of behavior. While each person with autism has the same triad of impairments, the behavioral manifestations can be very different. The face of autism can be in the form of this TV character, Dr. Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang Theory, who is, while has unparalleled intelligence, is a complete failure in picking up the subtle social nuances. Or it can be in the form of a very low-functioning ability child with autism who engages in rigid behavior, including self-harm. Now the goal of my PhD then is to uncover if those with autism have an inner voice. And if they do have an inner voice, are they using it in the same way that you and I am using it? And as such, are they reaping the same benefits? <coughs> the reason for me doing this is because there are three significant factors. Firstly, my research will hopefully help to uncover the inner workings of the autistic mind. Secondly, my research findings will show that language is way more important than just for the use of simple communication. The use of the inner voice provides us with a cognitive and mental advantage that we can be used in order that can, should, sorry, that can and should be harnessed as a tool for us. And thirdly, and more significantly, the use of um, inner voice can be taught to those with autism and as such provide them with a tool that they can be equipped with to help them face some of their challenges. And so far, what we found is that those with autism actually, interestingly, do have an inner voice. However, they are not using it in the same way that you and I are using it. And we are still trying to uncover what this all means for those with autism. So to end it all, I would just like to say, keep talking to yourself because it really is good for you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much indeed for that. It's a great uh, privilege to be able to comment on your talk and I really, really liked the way you explained the, the scientific background of your research, brought out the importance of the topic and the benefits it's going to bring to society. So well done.